Gosh Jolly G, Yu-Gi-Oh! community. This one is, uh, yeah, another fumble. All right, 34% of you did not smash the crap out of that subscribe button. Smash it so we can climb up the 100 and to 11,000 ladder here. So the next unlimited printing of a product that's not Darkwing Blast has been announced. By the way, where's Darkwing Blast? I, I, I know you want to cash in on those free chicken nuggies here, but instead we're going after the Egyptian God decks here. Slime for an obelisk, um, confirmed now by GTS distribution here. So well, is this is this a good or a bad thing? Well, most of the Yu-Gi-Oh community that I've read has already seen this. Is going, eh, this is bad. I mean, it's coming out on 519, 2023. Now you have to remember these are very much going to be for your casual audience. All right, I'm sorry to tell you, competitive community, this one's not for you. So is is this is this really worth it for the unlimited printing? Is my investment a first ed structured X in danger? I, I don't think so. For those of you that haven't been keeping up with these, I see a box of these for over hundred or actually like hundred and five dollars. These actually were going up. Um, sealed structure decks were hitting the $45 to $47 mark. Individual decks were about 14 bucks for the Slifer one. Obviously, like, the, <laughs> I always love the fact people are like, No, Robbie, these were such a terrible investment. Yeah, the Harpy's Feather Duster was, you know, at cost, like, 5 bucks alone. Slifers were dollars. I mean, you part these out and you go through all of your dollar, $2 cards. This structure deck, I mean, at least the Slifer one was actually pretty solid in terms of these, which is, once again, very, very interesting to me that um, what was available in these was actually pretty good. And on the flip side over here, the Obelisk set of three, 45 on up to 48 bucks, yeah. These were gaining value, 14 bucks? It might not look it, but it's it's definitely up there. The Harpies Feather Dusters, once again, when these are $5, you've got the Hamtaro reprint here, which is basically two bucks, and the Nimble Beavers, which were the same thing. These were the king of like four to five cards actually wrapping up the value of your structure deck so very nicely for you. So I want to make a sub video on this, talking about this, because I, I think it's important, all right? The fact that they're going through and doing unlimited printings this year proves to me, one, the pandemic stock shortage is over. I've mentioned that previously, which is good. Darkwing Blast is most certainly up on that reprint block. Konami is not going to pass up on that reprint equity. And remember, that Power of the Elements reprint actually only happened for North America. It did not happen for Europe, from what I was told from um, multiple people over there. So, yeah, fantastic. But for those of you that uh, are watching this video right now and you're like, thoughts, Robbie? I don't have any. I think that I think this is fine. Rewaving structure decks like this. I mean, if you've been to Walmart, you've seen the blue eyes structure decks on its third reprint, so I'm not necessarily surprised. So, you guys have a good rest of your night. All right. Patrons, thank you. Uh. <laughs> thank you so much for watching. Check out these other videos.